In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we hit our coldest temps yet at a negative 20 degrees below zero while still trying to live in our motorhome. With the house insulation sprayed in, we are one step closer to moving into our newly built shop. And with the holidays just around the corner, we take you to a couple of surrounding communities to celebrate the holidays. Look at this beautiful building, building place, I love it. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll get to move in here. Yeah, that's nice. What? We are in <laughs> our shop, our big shop, where the motorhome and the boat and other stuff are be stored. This is freaking beautiful, man. I've never had a shop like this, where it's like fully sheetrocked and insulated and all that stuff. The other shop we had at the house in Washington was just little thin metal wall building. God, this is nice. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting on our garage doors. I got a bottle of bourbon betting on this one. With the builder. With the builder. We'll see what happens. If they don't show up tomorrow, I get the bottle. If they do show up tomorrow, he gets the bottle. We'll see what happens. And then we also need man doors put in. Because right there, that's a man door, but it's, it's sheet, sheet rocked. And then we gotta get the heat turned on. Oh, need some lights in here, garage door openers, fans. Well, there's those too. Yeah, all that, you know, 50 amp outlet would be nice to have. 30 amp outlet for the boat would be great. <laughs> just a couple of things. Just a little thing. But all that can be done in a day. Pretty much, pretty much. Trim it out, we're done. We're being patient. Uh, <laughs> so because of all the moisture with the uh, the mud and the tape and the primer and paint on the walls, it, it it's developed a little, little bit of ice on the on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of moisture in the building. That's what happens when you build in the wintertime. December 18th and the sheet rockers started the house and uh, yeah what do you think um, the sheet rock up on the walls makes it feel like a house doesn't it yeah instead of seeing through walls mm -hmm. come on along nicely So now we are in our master bedroom. <laughs> and one thing that we have done in the past with our last house, and what we did with this one is we blessed it. Yeah. And we left a little note for anyone in the future that happens to maybe... Remodel something? How I, don't I don't know. But uh, we did it in our last house and uh, we did it here. So this is our fireplace in our master bedroom. And we put this little message. Bless this house with love and happiness, built with love and care. 
2021 Gary and Stacy Quimby. And yeah. I put 2022 because... <laughs> it's not going to be finished in 2021. No. <laughs> yeah, being that uh, it's December 18th. We are definitely not going to be done in we're, this year. We're going to be lucky to move the motorhome into the shop this, before the end of the new year. But I have to say, it wasn't until December 23rd when we made the decision to move to Alaska. So it's been still less than a year when, from the deciding day to actually being here and having a home. Yeah. I mean, that's finding the land, purchasing the land, developing the land, and then building. And then building in 2021 with all the uh, difficulties and labor issues and shortages and such. Oh my gosh, that's a whole video oh all on its gosh. own. Yeah. So hopefully 2022 things will get a little easier. Mm. I don't know. It's going to take a bit longer than that, I think, to smooth this uh, stuff out. But we're very close to moving into the shop. Very close. Well, we think we could be closer, but you know, it's the contractors. We, we, we can't. We're at their mercy. We can't just move in. We got to wait for certain things to happen. So we will keep you posted, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to, I have a feeling this little message is going to get covered up tomorrow. So I wanted. Yeah, I think so. I wanted to share it with mm -hmm. you before it got covered yep. forever. Yep. These walls will be uh, clad with sheetrock tomorrow, I'm hoping. Yeah, I mean, every room, as it transforms into an actual room, it's absolutely amazing. It does. It is. It's just, is it big enough? Then you put the walls on it, the sheetrock, like, mm, oh, it's, does it change size? It seems like it changes sizes when you put the sheetrock. I don't know. There. And don't then it changes when you bring furniture in. Oh, yeah, furniture. Mm -hmm. So, yep. all right. Well, we just got home from dinner with friends, and it's time to go kick up the feet and mm -hmm. rest and relax. Oh, another small point right now um it's a balmy 20 degrees out which is warm this is really nice and warm it feels it's like all great. summer you know, i just got my little lightweight shell and little gloves and, and no stocking cap stacy's overdressed but, no i'm uh, not <laughs> no i'm not i'm nice and toasty and but, i've got sophie in the jacket sophie come here it feels so good come here come out you guys are gonna laugh come on say hi <laughs> this is where she yeah. she rides, hangs out, and stays warm. All right, you ready to go home? Yep. Back to the well, we motorhome. Bye. With our mechanical room near completion, it was time to fill up our tank with heating oil to begin heating up the building in preparation of mud and taping of the sheetrock. Gotta get fuel today. We're getting fuel today. So, <laughs> oops, gotta get the snow off top of the tank. So I can get to it, open up. Our primary source of heat in our building will be radiant floors, which is heated with number two diesel fuel. And one nice advantage is we can source the fuel ourselves from the local Three Bears gas station just down the way with help from a neighbor who has an external fuel tank on his truck. Hmm, another thing to add to our wish list to become self-reliant. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be?
making our Christmas memories, oh. And I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Guys, Merry Christmas from the frigid north of Alaska. Actually, Houston, Alaska is where we're at. Negative two degrees right now. And yes, yes we are outside having a fire. I mean, it's beautiful sunny out, so why not have a fire outside right now and enjoy, enjoy Christmas Eve? Why not? I mean, this is our first Christmas in Alaska. Take advantage of it. And we're making traditions. Yep. I think this should become a tradition we'll every have Christmas a bonfire Eve. every year. But uh, we've got Alaskan Red King Crab for dinner waiting mm. for us. Yes. Chef Gary is going to do what he can in our motorhome mm. because guess what, guys? That house back there? We're not in it not yet. ready for us. <laughs> nope. There's the moho. There's where we're, we've been living. So we're still outside on our property. Hey, get this. Okay. You know we're in Alaska. You know, it's kind of cold up here. We've already had lows. Lowest we got with negative 24 degrees. Negative 24 degrees in the motorhome. We've got a couple nights 20 below. We have not been above zero for over a month. No, we had two days of. We had two days in the 30s. Well, like 32 or 33. Yeah. But most of that. Oh, but time, we still had lows. Yeah, but most of that time in a 24 hour. We have right. been so cold. I mean, we were below zero for a week. Below zero for a week. Oh my. In a motorhome. And you know, the motorhome is doing oh, amazingly yeah. well, and Gary has done everything necessary to keep us warm by skirting it yep. and putting foam board and... Heaters here and heaters there. And we were fighting the condensation issue pretty well with we won, the... I think we won that one. I think we have with the yeah. dehumidifier, but... Actually, when it's 20 below, there's not much moisture in the air anyway, so <laughs> it's not too bad. But we hope to be in the uh, shop here within the next couple of weeks. You're getting a little smoky. Uh, we're just waiting on some garage doors. Mm -hmm. Uh, our big, huge uh, shop doors are 14 by 14. They haven't shown up yet uh, for the garage doors. All the other little garage doors have showed up, so we're very thankful for those. Uh -huh. But we really can't move in without those big doors. Not yet. And the heat, they're going to fire up the boilers on Monday. So it's a test fire. We're not like not firing up the boilers to heat the place. We're just test firing. Make so sure everything make runs. Make sure it all runs well, get the burners dialed in and such so we are getting close it's getting it how's we're, alaska so far babe oh no regrets at no. all um we're actually it'll change a whole bunch once we get into the house living in the motorhome we've been a little bit restricted as to what we can do and we do and a lot that. of drives because we're um, but, we want out of the house and but no uh this is a beautiful place the people up here are amazing haven't run into anybody that i haven't got along with. well the one guy that went off in the ditch. That was his fault, though. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, no, it's been great. It's been great. Um, our life up here is, is so much better for us. Our neighbors are fabulous. Oh, we live in a We've great got area. a really good, tight-knit uh, yep. group of friends that we can count on for uh -huh. anything while we 
live this outdoor RV life in Alaska oh, yeah. in yeah. winter. In winter. So, so we, we only have about a foot of snow, maybe a little bit more on the ground right now, not a whole bunch. Um, but the snow has been on the ground for, since November 4th, so yeah. we've had a lot of snow down here. Or, uh, I, I, well, compared to what we normally live in in Spokane, like we're used to two or three inches at a time, it melts off the next day. Yeah. No, snow's been around for a while. Gary's been doing a good job of keeping the snow off the roof of the motorhome, so when the day mm -hmm. comes, we're not frozen in place and we can move inside. Yeah. So we're we're looking forward. Trying to keep that it's area getting clear. close. Yeah, trying to keep all clear. Did I mention uh, my mom is coming next Ooh. week to visit for a week? So I'm super excited to have her. Mm -hmm. And man, that fire is getting warm. I know warm. we both back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little warm, but it's nice. Uh, <laughs> but we just wanted to come on here and thank you all for joining our uh, Ohana, our community. Uh, our YouTube channel is growing mm -hmm. leaps and bounds, as is our RVing to Alaska Facebook group. Yes. But enough about that. This right. is Christmas. Hey guys, Merry Christmas. So we Christmas hope awesome. that uh, you're with friends and family this yes. holiday season and uh, that you get to your destination safely. Mm -hmm. I hear there's tons of airline cancellations today, which really totally Ooh, sucks. Totally I hope you're not a part of that. And I hope I'm not next week when I go yeah, get you, my you mom. Yeah, we got a winter storm warning coming in the next couple days, and then Spokane's getting cold too. Yeah, I have so. to fly down to Spokane, gather my mom, and bring her back up. Yep. So I've got uh, three flights. Uh, well, no, Four. two a uh, round trip flight in under 24 hours next yeah. week. So yep. it's going to be a quick win. But I'm really excited to see my mom and show her our new home state. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Well, I. I think uh, you can see the house in the background. Yeah. It's coming along. We are, we're getting there slowly but surely. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There you go. On Wednesday after Christmas, Gary drove me to Anchorage, where we stayed the night at a local hotel so I could catch a 6 a.m. flight out to Spokane to help my mom travel up for an eight-day stay over New Year's. Unfortunately, I got caught in the great Seattle snowstorm aftermath and my connecting flight was canceled. So I rented a car and made a six-hour drive over the pass and across the state to Spokane to arrive just in time for dinner, catch some sleep, and do it all over again for an 8 a.m. flight back to Alaska Thursday morning. But this time, my mom was by my side. Once in Alaska, we bundled up mom and took her out on our ranger to show her how Alaskans play, rain or shine, or 10 below in snow. She'll tell you she was scared for her life, but I will tell you, she did have fun. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get on the lake. There's people on the lake. You don't want to walk on the lake? <laughs> Woo. Good job, Mama! New Year's Eve, we found ourselves at our neighbor's house for an annual neighborhood party. It was a great time had by all, and up here in Alaska, we celebrate New Year's like the 4th of July because we finally have dark sky. Happy New Year's, everyone. The new year blew in like a wrecking ball. On New Year's Day, hurricane force winds hit the Matsu Valley that created havoc for anyone who dared venture out. Semi trucks were knocked over, small aircraft flipped upside down, boats sailed across roadways being blown off their trailers, 
Construction projects fell down. Not ours, thankfully. Roofs blew off. Almost no one was spared some sort of damage. Luckily for us, all we lost was some plastic sheeting on our shop doors. Some might call this a named storm down in the lower 48, but for Alaskans, they just called it Monday. When the winds finally subsided, we took my mom for a drive up to Willow to see Denali, and she finally got to see her first Alaskan moose safely from the car. Her bucket wish had been complete. I've got a mom. <laughs> no, she's taking... The time had come to say until next time to my mom. I'm so glad she came, and I can't wait for her to return another time. I love you, Mom. Next time on Living Free Alaska, with another wind event in the forecast and our building finally up and running with heat, we make the call to finally move our motorhome inside. With that, it's time to undo all winterization efforts on the disco and pray everything goes just right with all systems so we can get parked inside for the rest of winter. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.